Congratulations to Hashtag Black Panther, the first ever superhero movie uh, to get... Good day, chaps. Welcome along to the vlog. What an intro. That was alright, wasn't it? So, we started the brew day this morning. I've gone through, because I was using quite a new bit of kit, to try and not um, be too distracted with the camera. And uh, it turns out that now I've pieced it together, there are a few issues, mainly with the false bottom. So we had a stuck barge essentially. It took almost two hours for it to run off. And that means that uh, we're going to have to remedy this. So I think what's happening was grain is getting in around the edges and uh, well basically because we're pulling out of a half inch pipe into a brew pump 3000 the grain's getting into the pump causing a bit of an issue so I could either just let it go and have another go tomorrow and be a bit more careful with what's there um, see how it runs and then that'll give us a couple of options maybe I do an underback of some type or we look at modifying this false bottom I was thinking about cutting the mesh to fit into the gaps but I don't particularly want to do that in case I put too much heat into the steel and it warps you know so that's an issue which I'm going to have to consider and then also there are edges on here, you can't see the here, that actually stick up and let bits of grain in. So I could rectify that with just more bolts, but I'd rather not if I can help it. Because the bolts are going to be in slightly the wrong position. So I think we'll just have a steady run tomorrow with another brew day and hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll go down the underback route should this not be successful in the morning. Anyway, I'm transferring and all the family has arrived. Look at it. What's going on? So Abigail has had a day off school today. Cheeky little sausage because she had a belly ache. I think it was just the old uh, I don't want to go to school trick. So she'll be back in tomorrow for sure. Right, I better keep an eye on this transfer. Don't want to overshoot the temps. pieces of the stainless steel pizza no good for your teeth this one so I'm just gonna take the sharp edges off and uh, I'll just run them over the, the bench grinder wheel and then what I'm gonna do is drop them all into this I'm gonna drop them all drop them all into the original uh, shield, Captain America shield, hey, it's almost like a Union Jack in here, it's Captain America shield, so uh, we'll see if that works a little bit better, we'll weld them into position, oh I'm going to have to fill, oh no, we're going to put the bolts back in, <laughs> so 
So yeah, we'll weld them back into position. And then on the edge, everywhere, I'll, I'll run around it with a pen when it's in situ. And everywhere where there's a big gap, because I haven't got any gasket or rubber that will fit around it. Everywhere where there's a gap, I will actually will weld a bead with the TIG onto the edge to expand it. And then grind it back to the level it wants to be at. I think that'll work. Wish me luck. stayed a bit longer than I wanted to. It's quarter seven. But, how's that look? That's the bottom. And that's the top. Just a few little bits of staining from where the, uh, from where the welds are, effectively. But, having said that, I'm not finished yet, so on the top two sections here, see if I can pick this up in one go. <coughs> no. <coughs> so these top two sections, I've welded all the way around them, which makes it look really nice and neat on the inside, you know. But as I got further around, time was ticking on, so I've just tacked them with one inch tacks or thereabouts to hold each piece of wire on. So uh, they're not finished yet. So cleaning it up, both sides, will be somewhat pointless at the moment if I'm gonna join those tacks together. That's if I'm gonna join those tacks together. And also, if you look down that way, yes, well, I don't look too bad on camera, but trust me, it was uh, a little bit wobbly. We did lose a little bit of its shape. You can see it's kind of twisted all over the place. But once it's laid flat, it kind of lays flat, you know? So I'm just gonna give it a wash. I'm gonna drop it back into the mash tun. And then I'm gonna drop some grains in there before Gemma comes to pick me up to go home because it's getting on. And I've gotta edit this vlog for you, as I always say. So, uh, good day. We've got beer in the tank. We've figured out that we're going to need to build some type of underback and uh, we're probably, I'm hoping that that's going to solve most of the issue actually. Uh, but yeah, we're probably going to have to get some parts to do that. And also, I'm down to 40% on the boil, maybe even 35% for the power on the solid state relays. So with that lid closed, even in temperatures like today, it doesn't take a lot of energy to get the actual boil on the go. And I mean, it is boiling like mad and it's starting to blow out the sides of the kettle. So that because I've connected, oh, I forgot to mention it, didn't I? Yes, I connected up the outlet for the uh, condenser flue. That was one more thing that I did. So I just kind of sent an elbow down there with 22 mil copper pipe and it just comes out here so we don't have it running on the floor but unfortunately when I connect it up here it causes back pressure in the condenser and I'm getting steam blowing out the sides so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that section down there I'm going to change that section that is a RJT fitting, two inch RJT fitting and I'm going to dig around in my bucket of spares, maybe not in there, but I'm thinking somewhere I've got an old three inch concentric reducer, so if I can sort of sit a concentric reducer underneath, I don't have to bolt it together, but it'll be big enough for 
everything to drip into and let a bit of pressure out. So we'll see, that might work, it might not. May as well grab this while I'm running around. Oh, I've got to put the uh, feet on. Anyway, I've got to put the feet on. Give me a minute. All right, so I've tried the false bottom in and uh, not only was there an issue with the grain coming through the mesh, but also from about here to here, the circle, the diameter is not wide enough. It needs to be about three or four mil deeper. So apart from trying to deposit beads of weld, like four or five beads of weld all the way around, I don't know what to do. I don't really want to try and weld a piece of steel on because that would just look daft. But that might be the only option. I've also tried to put a silicon uh, kind of thing around it to make it seal against the sides of the pot. But again, no joy. So we'll give it a whirl tomorrow, see how it goes. But we might, might have to visit the drawing board again sometime next week. We'll see. Other than that, I'm wrapping it up. See you tomorrow. Caught in the midnight sky. Caught in the midnight sky.